Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have brought another authentic South Indian dish. It is the masala dosa. It is loved by everyone and it can be served either as breakfast, lunch or dinner. So do so without wasting any time. Let's get started with the recipe. For the idli and the dosa batter, you have taken 4 and half cups of rice and 1 and half cup of odad dal. This is the split odad dal. You can even take the full one. This is 1 and half cup. You will have to remember that this is a cup which I have taken. You will have to remember that this is 3 is to 1. So if you take 3 cups of rice, you will have to take 1 cup of udad dal. So now we will wash both this separately and we put it for soaking for 4 to, eight, four to 5 hours. So here I have washed this rice into 3 waters and here I have put water and now, now along with this rice, we have to put 1 handful of this puffed rice. We will put one and half cup, one and half a fist of it, okay, and we will soak this also along with the rice to be ground after five to six hours. So here, now after five hours, you can see how well the rice and this uh, puffed rice and everything is got soaked. Now we have to grind this up to a nice thick batter. We have to add little of this only water and grind it. We have to see the quantity of water, don't add too much of water for grinding this uh, as it uh, as we require a nice thick batter. So first we will grind this and I will show you all now. Now here is the blender jar. So we will add little by little, little quantity into this. And now we will add little of this only water to this blender jar and now we will grind this up. So see this is the batter consistency which we require and so fine we have to grind it to a paste. So the same way I will be grinding now everything and we have to put it in one vessel even the dal and even the rice. So now here as you can see. I have ground this batter it has to be a thick paste like this see and now we have to just hit it and mix it up like this for five to seven minutes so that everything gets mixed up very well The more you beat it well and mix it well, you'll get tomorrow fluffy dosas and idlis in the morning. So now here, the atta, the batter is nicely beaten and now we will keep it for fermentation overnight and in the morning, let's see now since the climate is little bit colder. So it will take a little longer time to rise but uh, we'll have to watch in the morning and then only after it rises then only you can make dosas. If it is not risen you have to keep it for a little longer time till it rises up. So I will see you all in the morning now. Hello guys, a very good morning to all of you all out there. Yesterday we had kept this uh, batter for fermenting. Let's take a look at it, see how well it has fermented. This batter can be used for preparing idlis, dosas, uttapas. So we have to take a portion from this now and the rest we can leave it in the refrigerator which will stay good for 1-2 to two days. So here I will be taking out some now. See how well guys it has got fermented overnight. Here. 
the rest of this i'll be leaving it in the refrigerator now for further use so guys now we'll add we'll be adding some salt to the batter and the consistency is too thick so after adding the salt as you all can see the batter is too thick so we will be adding a little water at a time and we'll mix this batter up Yes. Now we will keep this batter aside. Now for the masala dosa stuffing, I have taken a pan, and into the pan I have added two tablespoons of oil. The oil is nice and hot. So first I will be adding one ta one tablespoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of chana dal, and one teaspoon of urad dal. And we will just fry this nicely on little bit low flame till they are nicely brown and cooked. So now the dal is nicely cooked and brown. So to this, I'll be adding a few curry leaves. One large sliced onion, and we fry this onion till it is just translucent. We don't have to make it brown. With this, again, also adding two chopped chili, green chili, and we fry this up nicely first. Now the onions have become nice and translucent. So to this, I will be adding half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. One tablespoon of sambar masala powder, which is more nice, and one teaspoon of salt. Spoon of salt. We'll mix this up nicely. Now all the masalas are fried very well. To this now. I'll be adding six potatoes, which I have mashed completely, because for the bhaji which we put on the dosas, the potatoes are completely mashed as if they have to be put on the dosa nicely, and they have to be they have to be spreaded also well. So I have mashed this potato completely well, and now we have to mix this up very well. After this, we have to just add freshly chopped coriander and mix this whole thing well. And here, the stuffing for the masala dosa is ready. Masala dosa. I I have taken a pan and I have sprinkled some water on the pan first and wiped it off. Now I will be putting a ladle full of 
batter see how beautiful this masala dosa batter has come out also now we will let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes now we will be sprinkling some oil you can even sprinkle some butter if you want but i'm just sprinkling some drops of oil onto it we have to wait for the masala dosa to get cooked because once it gets cooked it leaves its sides so then you all can come to know that it is crispy on the other side so till then we have to wait now i'll be taking some uh, some potato mash which we had prepared of the masala dosa and we have to spread it onto this dosa now first spread it out nicely the main ingredient of the masala dosa actually and as you can see i have spread this batter the stuffing of the masala dosa very well now we will just wait for the masala dosa to leave its sides so then we come to know that the other side is nice and crispy you can see here a little bit brown spots have started to appear so let me wait for another 2 to 3 minutes as you all can see the dosa is left on its sides so the dosa is ready actually so we'll turn it dosa now see how lovely the dosa is turned out so now here the masala dosa is ready it's really looking very yummy it has turned out very crispy also today i'll be serving it with sambar or only you can even have it with sambar plus chutney so guys please do give this recipe a try and let me know in the comment section as to how you liked it also please do subscribe to my channel and the bell notification so that you'll get notified each time i post a new video i will see you in my next video with another such interesting recipe till then take care bye bye